Hello everybody, my name is Rob Shins. I'm the owner of Specialty Gas House here in Columbus, Ohio. Uh, just want to talk with you a little bit about uh, vent-free gas logs and vent-free heaters and, uh, and the whole vent-free ordeal. So vent-free's had kind of a stigma over the years with some. Um, more about indoor air quality than, uh, than anything. Uh, put that to rest. I personally have four separate vent-free uh, units in my house. I got a vent-free uh, heater like this in my basement. Got a, uh, a vent-free unit like that guy in my garage and two vent-free fireplaces in my house. Now, uh, the reason I go with vent-free, I like the bang for your buck aspect of it. I mean, personally, if I'm spending money on gas, I want it to come out as heat and vent-free is 99% efficient. A um, few things that you're going to find when you start researching vent free, you're going to see some negative stuff online about vent, ventless stuff and, uh, and really it boils down to four different things. Uh, there are manufacturers of units that are not vent free, manufacturers that don't produce anything vent free, therefore they spread all kinds of stuff on, online about how terrible it is and mainly it's just because they want you to buy their you know, big direct vent uh, unit and they're expensive. I mean, the nice thing about vent free is uh, is there's bang for your buck. It uh, it doesn't cost that much. The installation is is a lot less, especially if you've got an existing wood burning fireplace. You can put a vent free gas log, which is basically a burner and a log set on the floor of that existing fireplace, and you can run it with the damper shut. Uh, Vent free becomes vented if you choose to vent it in that application. Uh, so literally you're opening the damper and allowing the heat to escape. So you can enjoy a vent free fireplace without getting the heat into the room if you so choose. So uh, you know, vent free becomes vented if you choose to vent it. So uh, the other thing, you know, so the four things I was talking about, you know, manufacturers of of vented stuff, direct vents especially, they don't want you to have vent free, so they say bad things about it online. That's going to cause people to, you know, to maybe think twice about doing something vent free. Uh, the other thing, second thing, four things that uh, cause people to say bad things about vent free. Uh, second is people buy junk. There is some junk vent free out there, so you got to choose your manufacturer wisely. And uh, here, we don't sell junk. We actually test the stuff and we pay attention to what we're putting out there because we don't want to have uncomfortable phone calls with people because we sold them something that wasn't up to par. So, you know, somebody goes and buys a, a junk vent free and they have a bad experience, they're going to go online and they're going to type something bad about how terrible vent free is. And you, know, you buy the good stuff, you're not going to have to worry about that. Uh, third thing is, somebody that knows what they're doing needs to install this thing. This is an appliance that uses the air we breathe, vents to the air we breathe. Somebody that knows what they're doing needs to install it properly. If they have a bad experience with a, a terrible installer and they get a, a ventless system put in and, and, and it doesn't work up to their expectations, they're going to go online, they're going to type something bad about how terrible vent free is. Uh, the fourth thing, and what I think is the most important thing, is vent free requires maintenance. It's not an option. Again, this is an appliance that uses the air we breathe, vents to the air we breathe when the damper shut, and we got to make sure that it's burning properly. And every year or two years, depending on your situation, if you have pets in the house, animals that uh, that shed or or a lot of dander floating around because uh, because animals running around the house, including children, uh, you got to have vent free serviced. You know, if you put a vent free in and and you, know, you just think this thing's going to work without fail indefinitely, and all of a sudden, a couple of years down the road, the thing quits working. Uh, okay, now you're going to go online. You're going to type something bad about your experience with that free. So, you know, those four things. Uh, I can do something about selling you the good stuff, having a good guy put it in, and having a good guy there for you to service it. Those three things I can fix. The fourth thing that you're going to read online about. Uh, about vent free with the other manufacturers bad mouth and what vent free does uh, I can't do anything about that but uh, but I can promise if you buy a vent free especially gas house you're gonna have a good experience with it as long as you listen to what we say and do what you're supposed to do so uh, that's really 
uh, about it when it when it comes to to the vent free rabbit hole. Uh, I've got no issues with it. I will uh, I will stand behind it, stand behind my words on everything about vent free. Know that if you do do vent free and and you use it often, you're actually going to see your gas usage go down because the more we use vent free, the less the furnace is going to fire because the thermostat's going to be happy and it's not going to call for that furnace to fire up. So you know, there's bang for your buck there. You're, uh, you're actually going to see your energy bills go down. Uh, the challenge with vent free really just becomes heat management more than anything. You know, heat pipe sits all up here close to the ceiling. How do we get it down from the ceiling to, to the areas where we're spending our time? running a, a ceiling fan on a low speed in reverse like we do during the winter to disrupt that air up close to the ceiling and bring it down. Uh, the other way is to turn your furnace fan from the auto position, turn it to the on position. Now the cold air returns are going to capture the heat that the fireplace is making. It's going to drag it down to the furnace, filter it, and send it out through all the vents throughout the house. So uh, it's some really neat ways that you can move that heat around if, if you play with it a little bit. But, uh, about all I got to say about vent free. Good luck to you this guy this year. Stay warm.